What's going on there, folks? Just jumping in here early on this or uh, December 21st, 2020 morning, about 2.40 a.m. West Coast time here in California with an update, <clears throat> excuse me, on a volcanic eruption in the state of Hawaii out there. Kilauea Volcano showing some uh, obvious signs of eruption in progress. Uh, a couple hours ago, they did have a four point, uh, where that 4.4 earthquake right here, just outside of the uh, Kilauea uh, crater area. Since then, there has been uh, glow detected and uh, eruption in progress out there in the uh, crater area of the uh, Kilauea volcano, along with an ash cloud, or they believe it's an ash cloud, that had risen um, up to about 30,000 feet or so. They're not 100% certain if, there was, if it's just vapor or if there was indeed ash uh, within that plume that was released. Although the uh, weather service is kind of monitoring that activity there, but uh, definitely uh, eruption going on following that 4.0, uh, 4.4 earthquake. The earthquake struck about uh, 6.3 kilometers below the surface. Since then, you can see the uh, uh, numerous, numerous earthquakes there within the crater area of the, uh, I think it's the uh, Hala Mamo Mau Mau. Uh, crater. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. You know my pronunciation, especially this early in the morning, is probably not the best. Let's take a look at the uh, latest statement there from the USGS HVO information uh, page, and it talks a little bit about that 4.4 earthquake on the Kilauea, Kilauea volcano south flank. Uh, the earthquake was centered about 8.7 miles south of Fern Forest, uh, near the Volcanoes National Park at a depth of 6 kilometers, which is 4 miles, a map showing its location here. Uh, weak to light shaking with ma maximum intensity uh, has been reported across the island at the intensity. Significant damage to buildings or structures is not expected. Uh, according to HVO acting scientist in charge David Phillips, HVO continues to monitor Kilauea as the situation is rapidly evolving this evening. That was a couple hours ago. Last night, Hawaii time, eruption at the summit of Kilauea. We will send out any further notifications on Kilauea and other Hawaiian volcanoes as we observe ch uh, changes here. Now, remember a couple days ago, we put out they put out an article and I did an update video about the um, small but notable magma intrusion at Kilauea summit, <clears throat> which occurred earlier this month. There was the uh, article and they talked about it. Uh, if you didn't watch the video, go check that out here on the channel. Or you can read this specific article from the HVO. <clears throat> but uh, definitely uh, some magma intrusion there, obviously. Um, it's hard to say if this thing's going to uh, erupt like it did back in 2018. That's something to monitor as the HVO has moved the elevated or moved the uh, codes, right? The alert level codes and the aviation codes. Volcano alert level to warning and it's aviation code to red. What does that mean? Just real quick here. Red warning means a major volcanic eruption is imminent, underway, or suspected with hazardous activity both on the ground and in the air. So it's pretty much about the highest code that you can get when it comes to the um, volcanic alert levels right there. Uh, so just kind of, we're kind of monitoring the activity there in Hawaii. Uh, there's been some pictures and video floating around don't want to post those up here on the channel quite yet uh, before they're you know not confirmed by these folks so yeah just uh, kind of monitoring this area out here right now we're taking a look at the earthquakes there within that crater area you can see it picking up wrapping up ramping up a little bit uh, the depth on these are a little little shallow obviously some surface quakes meaning uh, that there is, uh, you know, right there at the crater area, right at the, uh, the main area right here. I think it's called a uh, Hala Mau 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 Mau, I believe. If I pronounce it wrong, please correct me. But I can't say that ten times in a row, so don't even ask. Um, so yeah, some interesting movement taking place. Kind of exciting, but at the same time, pretty dangerous as well. When a volcano like this can, uh, you know, cause some mayhem out here. 2018, I believe, is the year when we've seen that major uh, extensive eruption for quite a long time. And uh, with a pretty large earthquake, too, that uh, accompanied the uh, volcanic eruption there in the, in the Big Island. Hard to say if that's going to happen again, but we are keeping an eye on it, folks. I will do an update video 
a little bit later on if anything has changed um, and see if I can round up some pictures and video of this activity uh, it's just here, here it is again the alert codes red red excuse me red and warning um, of course threat potential obviously very high it's a major active volcano um, and then it talks a little bit about this here but let's see where's the uh, here's a little bit more about the eruption here with with they detected the glow there in the Halamalmel crater at the summit of Kilauea volcano an eruption has commenced within Kilauea summit caldera the situation is rapidly evolving uh, and of course HBO will issue another statement when more information is available kind of watching it folks we'll see how this thing um, of course that's not going to be found uh, not for sure what with what's up with that link Uh, let's see here. For the past several weeks, the USGS has recorded ground deformation and earthquake rates at Kilauea Volcano Summit and Upper East Rift Zone that have exceeded background levels observed since the uh, conclusion of 2008 Lower East Rift Zone eruption and summit collapse. That was the big one back then. Um, so yeah, it looks like since about September 20th of this year, increased rates of uplift were observed in the area. Um, so yeah, we could be looking at potentially, you know, an extensive eruption if it does uh, it's gonna be exciting for one but also very dangerous uh, for you know possible folks there in the region as well got to deal with gas and, and uh, magma flow lava flows all that stuff earthquakes uh, let's see here an earthquake swarm began on the evening of December 20th accompanied by ground deformation detected by tilt meter meters in orange glow was subsequently observed on IR monitoring cameras and visually beginning so anyway a couple hours ago folks is when this all happened so it is kind of rapidly evolving we're keeping an eye on it I will continue to update uh, as uh, information becomes available I do have one seismograph station there in the uh, Hawaii area and that's going to be the station called Brian's Ledge that's just on the left side screen looks pretty quiet now I may have to add or I'm, I am going to look for yeah, much closer station there to the uh, vicinity of the Kilauea Volcanoes uh, crater area. But for now, once again, 4.4 striking uh, just a short time ago, along with an eruption of uh, Kilauea Volcano. Alert levels all have changed to a warning and a red, which means a volcanic major volcanic eruption is imminent, underway, or suspected with hazardous activity both on the ground and in the air. So we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Please stay safe. And uh, yeah, have a good night. Good morning. It's pretty early. What is it, morning or night? One of the two. This is a little bit too early for me, but that's okay. I'm going to be up kind of monitoring this activity. Peace out, folks.